Okay, so we are gonna walk through how to get our pages prepared for getting our layouts done. And of course, I will tell you what you're gonna need for this entire project. So you are going to need for your pages, you're going to need 110 pound cardstock, so it's thick, okay? Um, I would highly, highly recommend the thick 110 pound pages because they're sturdy and you are going to be flipping through them in your three ring binder, you know? So 110 pound um, for your pages. You're also gonna need whatever base cardstock you typically use when making your scrapbook albums and all of your interactive elements in your scrapbook album. So whatever paper that is, whether it's 80 pound, 90 pound, it might even be 110 pound that you typically use. So whatever um, type of paper that is, you're gonna need that as well. And you also need a three ring, I'm sorry, a three hole punch, okay? In order to get your pages punched. Okay, so a three hole punch. And uh, you are gonna, of course, need a three ring binder, but you will not be able to figure out what size you need until all of your pages are decorated. So that is going to be the last step of this album. All right, so our pages are going to be eight and a half by 11, but we are gonna cut them to nine and one quarter by 11. Okay, so we have one page that is nine and one quarter by 11. This is our 110 pound cardstock, and I always use white. Um, you certainly can use any color you want. And then from uh, my base cardstock, whatever I would typically use in my scrapbook albums, you know, for interactive elements, for pages, whatnot, we are gonna need two strips per base page. So they're gonna be the same length, 11 inches, and they're going to be three quarters of an inch wide. And to prepare one page, we are going to simply adhere these strips to our page. against one of the long edges, okay? I need to come out of frame here just to make sure I'm lining that up well. Okay. Okay, and I am hanging over this edge a tiny little bit. Perfect, all right. So now we're gonna turn this over so that the same side with the strip is still on the left. And we are gonna adhere our, uh, uh, um, our other piece to that same edge, just on the opposite side of the paper. Okay, so the same edge, just on the opposite side. All right. Be careful when you're burnishing it that you don't push it out of place like I just did a little bit. Let it dry. I usually do let the glue dry for a little bit. And we have a completely prepped page. So um, you're gonna do this for however many pages you want in your album. And when it comes to this strip here, I usually do choose a cream because it's pretty um, you know, it's, it's versatile, I guess. It goes with everything. Um, especially if you know like what your album theme is going to be, you can choose a color that complements all the different paper collections you may use in your album. 
So, I mean, this is completely customizable. Choose whatever color you want for your base pages. Choose whatever color you want for your reinforcement strips. Um, I almost always do white for my pages. And then, like I said, a cream for my strips. Especially, you know, that would be beautiful if you were doing, you know, a collection like this. Um, okay, and what else? Okay, as for the number of pages, so my album, when it's all said and done, is going to have 10 pages and they are going to be pretty interactive. Some of them are going to be thick, so I did not go any more than 10 pages. And I just happen to know that because I've done this album before or I've done an interactive scrapbook binder before. So I know that if you are doing interactive elements with every page, you will not fit more than 10 pages. And that's and that, that's gonna need a, a really thick four inch binder. Um, so if you went with a five inch binder, you could probably squeeze in another page, but I would plan on no more than 10 pages. If you are following this tutorial, but your pages are all going to be flat, like a typical scrapbook layout, you're not doing any interactive elements, but you still want to put them in a binder that's prefabricated like this, like this one, then you could probably go 20 pages, um, maybe more, I don't know. I've never done um, a scrapbook binder with just flat layouts, okay? All right, um, so once you have your pages prepared, you're ready to go with decorating every page. Okay, and we're gonna jump into the next video, which is the uh, first layout in my album.